Okay, the video got ended at that point um, where we are ready to inject the space ore. So once you've confirmed the needle is in the mid gland area at midline in the proper space in between the rectum and the gland, and we went through all the checks that they do to make sure of that, they're going to build the space ore kit, um, which is a combination of the two syringes, a Y connector. Uh, the fluids are in the syringes. When they combine in the Y connector, it makes that space ore gel, um, which hardens within 10 seconds. So it's important that you'll hear the space ore rep kind of guiding them through that. Once they start injecting, they have to continue injecting um, until the 10 second mark. If they stop halfway, it's gonna get jammed up in the Y connector. Um, so you'll see them put that together. They're gonna screw that onto the end of the needle. And once they, again, make sure that they're in the right spot. And what I do is when they're screwing it in to the needle, you know, they try to hold the needle still to prevent it from moving. Because remember, we went through a lot to make sure that the needle is not going to move from that spot. It's in the correct spot. Um, so, but you know, if they're just trying to screw something on, it might move slightly. So I got in the habit of watching the screen while they're screwing it in. If I notice that it pushes in or if it moves slightly and you lose sight of it, let the doctor know. Just say, hey, doctor, do you want to confirm again the needle looks like it moved a little bit? And again, don't tell them what to do because the space R rep should be the one directing the procedure. But you can just mention that, you know, it looks like the needle may have moved. Do you want to check again before you inject? Because uh, this is kind of the last chance that they can manipulate it before injecting. So usually the doctor will say, yeah, let's just make sure again that I'm in the mid gland area, which is right here. I can see the needle clearly, you know, make sure you're not in a rectum, you're not in the prostate. They may even do another quick check on sagittal so they'll pull back step out till they see the needle and make sure that it's centered on the gland and the right space okay we're good we'll go back in sagittal step in we're ready to inject so they're gonna basically push the syringes at the same time and you'll see this spread of fluid in this space get bigger and bigger and bigger and it'll be widening the space. You'll see it start growing. And then the, they'll be counting one, two, three, four. Um, basically it's a 10 second injection. And when they get to 10, they know it's all been injected. And you should see that like a kind of a flash of it all hardening. And then they'll take the needle out and they'll kind of gauge how well did it spread? Did it go from base to apex? So you should see the gel spreading along the whole part of the prostate between the prostate and the rectum. Um, typically, they're more concerned with the apex end, uh, just for your reference that, you know, if it seems like most of it went down here, that's actually okay because the seminal vesicles naturally kind of push the base away from the rectum. So typically the space reps will say, it's actually good that we got more coverage at the mid and apex end because that's the end that typically gets radiated um, accidentally. So they'll check on sagittal, making sure that it's spread apex to base. They may ask you to take a picture so you can hook up the printer and press the record three button to print a picture. And if, you know, typically we'll print one before the injection and after. So when you start, uh, you should have a, a nice picture of the pre and then do one of the post. Um, so make sure you're printing it before they inject, obviously, and then print one after they inject. So then they'll have you go to axial. Again, axial, you step out. So here, they're gonna have you start the SV and then step out slowly, and you're gonna see the gel in here. And you're gonna make sure they're basically checking to see did it cover left and right equally. So you're gonna go from base and just kind of slowly come through mid gland all the way to the apex and making sure that there's coverage all the way through and on both sides of the gland. Um, and I usually do a nice shot mid gland for them. I print a picture of that using the Record 3 uh, and print that for them. So they, they will have a nice um, pre and post of both sagittal and axial. And they may ask you to print certain ones. They may tell you, okay, go to the apex and print a picture. So you can do whatever they want, but you should try to give them a printout at the end of this of the gland on mid gland, sagittal, mid gland, axial before, and then one after. Um, after the gel is in, injected. So that concludes the space or procedure. So then 
they'll take the probe out freehand. You know, you unlock everything, they'll take the probe out. They may hold pressure on the perineum because there'll be a lot of bleeding coming from the perineum, so they may hold gauze there, pressure. Meantime, you're taking the probe cover off, you're wiping the probe down, and doing your typical reprocessing and turnover of the equipment. And make sure you uh, fill out a treatment form for these. We are working on a way to be able to input the space or uh, procedures. So you can just basically input the patient info um, and just mark down that it was for a space or fiducial marker. Um, and we're eventually gonna have a custom form for those.